You've all been working for Walmart for about two weeks now. The infiltration of corporate America is going quite swimmingly. You're about to begin your shift. What are you guys doing? I'm placing pictures of slaughterhouses on all the meat products, as well as PETA pamphlets. When people ask where something is, I'm sending them to the local farmer's market. Oh, <laughs> I'm stocking aisle 23. Okay, it's time for your nightly meeting. You all realize that your fellow employees are perched around a microphone, and a large, heavyset woman with a perm approaches the mic. You all recognize her as Assistant Manager Deb. Good evening, Walmart. I'm sure that all of you beautiful people are aware that the holiday season is among us, and you know what that means. Mandatory overtime for everyone. Isn't that exciting? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to need all of you to band together as a team. And I know that you can do this, and I believe in you. She says this with such charm that I'm going to need everyone to make a will save to make sure that you don't buy into it. 18. 23. <laughs> Five. All right, Lance, you look on in complete admiration. Assistant Manager Deb approaches you. Lance, you know, you've been doing a bang-up job. I'm so thankful to have you in our little work family. Now, if only we could do something about cutting that ridiculous hair. Well, Deb... Anything for you. After she leaves, I'm gonna drag Lance down the closest aisle. I'm gonna follow. Okay, the coast is clear. Deb has moved up to the front of the store to greet customers. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? What do you mean? You've been acting weird as hell, man. Yeah, the other day I invited you to come to the record store with me and you said you couldn't because you were picking up a shift. Did you know that if Walmart were a military force, it would be the second biggest military force in the world. Behind China. I'd like to roll to slap Lance. Roll your attack. 16. That hits. All right, five damage. Your slap seems to grant Lance a moment of clarity. Have you forgotten what Lady Deschanel said? We have to destroy this place. I I'm sorry. I, I just got caught up. There is, there's strong magic here. We need to put our plan into action now before Assistant Manager Deb turns you into her minion. Let's suit up. You make your way back into the employee area and you see a middle-aged man sitting at the break room table crying. You recognize that it's Rick from Sporting Goods. I used to have dreams. I used to have ambition. Don't worry, Rick. It'll all be over soon. We head to our lockers. What's everybody wearing? We all have matching jumpsuits. They're replicas of the Royal Tenenbaums and give us a plus two to our AC against flanking opponents. Very cool. Y your weapons are still stashed in your lockers, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. What do you all have again? Um, I had the yo-yo of endless sleeping. If I attack successfully, the target is asleep for 1d4 hours. I've got the words fuck work tattooed on my knuckles. They give me an extra plus 5 to attack and an extra d6 against my superiors. I actually couldn't sneak one in. Can I search sporting goods for something? Okay, give me a spot check. 27. <laughs> Sarah, you find the Drake Blade. It was carved from the fang of a great worm red dragon, and over the years, many a great and terrible warrior has possessed this weapon, and now it has chosen you to be its wielder. What the fuck? Dude, she rolled amazingly. Let's kick some middle-aged white lady ass. You find Deb in the home improvement section. She's standing in the middle of the aisle. I've been waiting for you. You fools, you think I didn't know your plan? You can't destroy Walmart. We're in the hearts of millions. Her hair begins to grow longer and the strands of hair actually begin grabbing saw blades and hammers. I'm gonna do a charge attack and 25. 
<laughs> she dodges. Her hair wraps around you and throws you carelessly into a sack of bird feed. Everybody roll initiatives. 14. 10. 2. Okay, Deb's going first. Her hair jumps out and grabs all of you. Sarah, as a matter of fact, another tendril of her hair grabs your sword and snaps it in half as if it were a toothpick. I can't even. All right, well, all of you are bashed together and you take 34 damage. Assistant Manager Deb, I am so sorry they put me up to it. I will work triple overtime for you. Fuck you guys. As you're all bashed helplessly together, you see a figure jump up on the top shelf behind Deb. You recognize him as Rick from Sporting Goods. He's carrying a pump-action shotgun. Prices have never been lower on ammunition. He pulls the trigger and Deb's head erupts in a pink mist. As her hair separates from her head, all of you drop to the ground. Rick jumps down from the top shelf and picks up Sarah. He kisses her passionately and then walks off into the fluorescent sunset. Wait, don't go. He doesn't look back. And that's where we're going to end for the night. No! It's D&D. Summoning the demons.